Hi, everybody. Um, I want to talk a little bit about a kind of alternate workflow um, as it relates to mesh visibility of the source meshes of your fusion model. When working with a model like this that has a, uh, a lot of kind of overlapping meshes in the same area uh, due to the fact that I'm doing a lot of uh, intersection trimming here, um, simply turning the uh, mesh visibility on can result in a fairly a uh, confusing image with all of these uh, translucent overlapping meshes. And it can be difficult, especially if you want to go to something like edge mode and select edges uh, to edit. So one uh, alternate way of doing this is to turn off mesh visibility and uh, select the mesh from your item list. Of course, it helps if you name your meshes. Um, and then go to edge mode. And when you do that, only that selected mesh will become visible. And it's much easier to see the uh, elements, edges, or whatever that you want to select. And then you can go ahead and select them and edit. And of course, you can switch your mesh selection at any time or even select uh, multiple meshes. Uh, and, and even in that case, it'll help reduce the amount of clutter and help you see things more clearly. You can accomplish the same thing by uh, manually turning the visibility of various meshes on and off. But uh, using this method, Again, especially when you're wanting to work in edge or vertex or polygon mode, um, just makes it all kind of fluid and, uh, and automatic. Uh, on a side note here, uh, if you are working with a tree-based fusion model, you can uh, use the tree itself to select the uh, invisible, so to speak, source meshes. And uh, that can be a, a handy way to go about it as well. And finally, um, I kind of like working with this uh, source mesh hidden mode because uh, you can select a source mesh and move it or otherwise edit it and not have the distraction of wireframes at all. And uh, it's kind of a nice way to get a very clear look at the Boolean result. All right, that's about it. Thanks.